I mounted LEDs on the top here and I have a micro switch on the lid which turns on some extra LEDs when I close the lid. As you can see here when I close the lid it really really lights up your face. The CNC machine when running normally is a bit noisy. So I have for a long time wanted to build an enclosure for the machine. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I have this old shelf material which I want to use. First I'm going to remove this outer veneer layer with my jointer and then I'm going to glue the pieces together so I can get some big boards to use in my enclosure. I have at least enough material to build the bottom, the two sides and the back. For the top and the front I'm going to use some other materials that I have laying around. I'm going to remove the outer layer of veneer on these shelf materials and glue them together with normal wood glue. And I'm going to use this pocket hole jig to make some pocket holes and uh, screw them together as extra security. Here you can see the drawings of my idea of the enclosure. To save as much space as possible I want the lid to go up and lay on top of the enclosure when it's open. This way I also don't get an edge which I can hit my head in when I'm uh, leaning in and attaching some stock and uh, setting zero point and stuff like that. So let's start the build.
This is a Chucky Beat production. production. This is a Chucky Beat production. production.
the time is coming and I'm about to install it where it's going to sit and install the CNC machine inside the enclosure. But before I do that I really want to make some measurements of the sound. This is a decibel gauge and I want to make three measurements on each setup. I'm going to make one measurement one meter away from the CNC machine. The second measurement is going to be three meters from the CNC machine and the last measurement is going to be inside my office or dust free station. On each of the measurements I'm going to make two different measurements because I have a dust shoe on my CNC machine. I also have to have my dust extraction setup going. However, on my old setup I had this shop vac. The shop vac is very good but it makes a lot of noise, a high frequency noise. So when I'm measuring my old setup I'm going to measure it with or without the shop vac. In the CNC enclosure I have a new dust extraction. This machine is a 100 mm or 4 inch uh, pipe. And it, it also makes uh, some noise, but it's lower frequency and it doesn't come out as loud. So when I'm measuring the new setup, I'm going to also measure with and without dust extraction. But this time it is with the new dust extraction setup. So let's make the measurements. First, I'm going to make base measurements on all the positions. This is the ambient noise in this room. One meter away, it's uh, approximately... 35-36 decibels. 3 meters away it's about the same 35-36 decibels when there are not cars driving by. Inside my office space it's as expected about the same 35-36 decibels. Let's make a measurement 1 meter away from the old shop vac. 83 decibels. 1 meter away from the new dust extractor about uh, 82 83 decibels inside my office space with the old CNC with no enclosure and the old dust extraction enabled. I think you can hear me but uh, it's quite noisy inside there so I, I have to use air protection.
74 decibel that is inside uh, my uh, office space with the dust collection uh, activated it's not that bad and I can sit here without my air, pro air protection but if I turn off the dust collector now it's 62 decibels uh, I must say that is a lot a lot a lot more quiet than it was before and uh, I have no problem sitting here doing other stuff while the CNC machine is going these were very nice results now let's go and check out my enclosure I know this was a long video but uh, it took me a long time building this thing uh, about five days where I worked five to eight hours every day so it took a long time but uh, it's finished now and I hooked up uh, LED lights and I have a micro switch on the lid so when I close the lid you can see some extra LEDs turning on this makes for good work light down on top of the CNC I hooked up the dust extraction to the new 4 inch pipe or 100 millimeters adapter here for the regular vacuum hose which goes to the dust tube the 4 inch or 100 millimeter hose goes to my new dust extraction it's an Electra Besham so I'm very happy with this build I hope you enjoyed watching I know the video was a bit long but that's how it is please visit me on Instagram and Facebook I also have a website you can visit where I have a lot more information and as always if you like this series or this video please subscribe for more and until next time <laughs> goodbye <laughs> it really really lights up your face <laughs>